Hello viewers, Mina Justice EMT Jan from Sega Fox Media. Well, today is the 12th of October 2023 and we come for witness Usai, um, the Women's in Agriculture Network, the whole the strategic planning workshop and also with a team um, breaking barriers for women's full engagement in agriculture to achieve food security. So we have come around for can see how this workshop is for day and as well, if possible, we will talk to some of the stakeholders then we involve at this workshop here, so for tell me more about the workshop. Juliet Lavalli, President, Women in Agriculture Network. WEAN is an organization, it's an organization that was developed to address the barriers that women face in agriculture. The reasons why women are, are really held back in this sector is access and also challenges with knowledge. So this organization is there to improve women's accessibility to finance and equipment and other resources that is required for you to succeed in agriculture. Well, we're here to look at our strategic pillars. One of them is empowerment, women's empowerment, to make sure that women are mainstreamed in agriculture. Gender mainstreaming means that women are in the forefront of decision making, they're part of decision making, and they and they have a voice, you know, in decision making. So that is what we're, we're looking at. The other pillar is access to finance, to make sure that we create an enabling, an enabling environment for women to access financial resources, to have credit, so that they can improve their productivity. And not just women, we also include the youth, the vulnerable population. They need access to the resources that are required, both financial and also inputs. If we look at tractors now, the cost of one tractor for, an, for a day is about three million. Now, if you don't have a tractor, you don't have three million, you're gonna be restricted in the amount of land that you can work. If you do not have an irrigation system, you're going to be restricted in the time that you plant. You're only re restricted to planting during the rainy season. So we're looking at all of those challenges, you know, perishable goods, where do you sell? You've produced. Now these goods, in three or four days without a refrigerator or cold room, these goods will spoil. So create markets, create processing um, opportunities that they can add value to the goods to prolong the shelf life, you know, so that they can take these goods to market or they will be able to sell them directly to off-takers. So these are some of the challenges that we're looking at. You know, we have strategic partners UN Women is one of them, World Food Program, FAOGIZ, the Chamber of Agribusiness Development. These are partners that are in the sector that are really um, supporting women to contribute to the feed salon. Um, I don't know if you're aware that one of the pillars in the feed salon is women's empowerment. That pillar, we're collaborating to ensure that the Dewey Act is really fully implemented in the agri agriculture sector. Women in disability are our vulnerable population. They are part of our vulnerable population. You know, this includes widows. You know, we have women who have lost their husbands. We have women who have, who have been abused, you know, and they, they're destitute. So we create job opportunities for them. We prioritize, we look at opportunities that, based on your disability, where do you fit? For example, in my poultry, I do have, you know, uh, people with hearing disability. I have people with um, mobility challenges, women. So we're creating job opportunities. We look at your disability. Everybody can contribute. So we assess and we align you with job opportunities that will bring you as part of this productive productivity in the country. We're very hopeful, as you've heard, as you've heard from partners today, that partners are willing to work with us so that we can implement our strategic plan. This includes the Ministry of Agriculture and other development partners in the agriculture sector. There is a Tenedic, Deputy Minister One of the Ministry of Agriculture so tell and family. Food Security. Okay, tell family what happened today. Well, we can launch the Women Agriculture Network, the strategy, breaking barriers. Okay, what is that? Of um, well, this uh, groups of women, we come together. Um, they are from all walks of life. 
or highly educated, they come, say they want to go into agriculture proper, and some of them have been part of it. So they want to see how they will go to the grassroots farmers as civil society organization for ad advocates for women in agriculture. Well, me as a minister, me just encourage them for make them touch all lives in agriculture from small, medium and large production, from production to processing and make sure that even people with disability, they capture them. Very seriously and it's true because that woman then, they get the SMEs, they will cause more media enterprises now all the areas now, all the agro districts now, Sierra Leone. Some they do cassava, some they do rice, some they do maize, um, some they do aquaculture, when our fishes. Because when we talk of agriculture and food production, we get for us some nutritional value to it. Well, when they don't get, they, may, they tell me, say, they want to go down to the grassroots, then we want to forget all the street coordinators because they're not going to be everywhere. So they get a two day session where they get for work on the strategy proper. From there, they're going to be for appoint who and who should do this, who and who should be this. And they won't forget some interventions where they're going to bring a car to the ministry for incorporator into the feed salon projects proper. They target all women farmers in the country as we advise with the Ministry of Agriculture. Therefore, target all women farmers, the vulnerables, the one that we don't start, made them hold hands on the other one there, for made them go grab and do something for themselves. So we expect from them, say, therefore touch us, they say, therefore engage all the women there. We they expect, they say, even the less privileged, the vulnerable, the widows, the people with disability, therefore capture them. There are many. I'm not going to name the quantity or I'm not going to quantify the groups of women involved in this. But there are many. We don't come together to form this organization for the for fight for women's empowerment, gender equality, and see the way forward in agriculture. And I got a request from you, colleague females, ministers, that they for encourage other women them for come on board. And not mean say because they're not in the Ministry of Agriculture, they're not going to go agriculture. Even you hear the first lady say, they get farm. Now the champion of agriculture. President is the chief agriculture. Instead the farm. And he don't tell we say everybody for farm. All ministers, they want for see we farm. Mr. Self get farm. So I encourage all women there for do farming. The last but not the least, the youth, Therefore, come on board for farm, agriculture, and a business. Not a poor man work, not a laborer work. May they come and do, not to illiterate in work. We want to see how they will create jobs for themselves. So, when I left Kush, when I left all these bad, bad drugs, then when I take agriculture as a business, the door of agriculture is open for every one of you people.